Welcome back everyone to... Oh man, sad music. Sad music, you guys. Uh, But welcome back to Let's Play Alundra. Olin is dead. And uh, that's, that's pretty unfortunate. We need to head to the coal mines, however, that is not where we're going to be going first. Before we do that, we are going to uh, make a little sidetrack here. Because there are some gilded falcons just hanging out around the wilderness that we want to obtain. As you saw last time, it is possible for certain gilded falcons to be lost forever if you do not obtain them at the right time. And we don't want that to continue happening. Not that all gilded falcons follow that rule, but some of them do. As you can see, here's our first one. We are going to be obtaining three in this video. And luckily for us, they aren't too far apart, so no need for any major cuts in the video. And in the meantime, I will try to practice continue running after I stop. Like that! Oh, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. You guys should be proud of me too. Because I, I'm really, really bad at the timing on this for some reason. Yay, I, I keep doing it. Now, these little tree trunks? Bombs. Bombs are the solution. Also, bombs kill these turtles in one hit, and that's good because using our dagger against the turtles is not a good idea. Anyways, there's our second Gilded Falcon. And now we want to head back back to the south exit of Inoa Village. And re-enter the village. Oh, sad music again. Why? It's so depressing. So depressing, you guys. And Noah Village is just surrounded by this very sad, depressing music. And now, shallow water! It makes us run really, really slowly. And that's, that's pretty annoying, actually. This, however, is Olin's house. You guys remember Olin, right? He's the one who died last video. We are going to enter his house and steal his gilded falcon. All right. What? He's dead. He wasn't using it. At least I am putting things to good use. His legacy will be remembered through me stealing his material possessions. Anyways, now it's time to head up this little cliff. We could take stairs there to the left, but but I feel like jumping. Hey Jess, I definitely did not steal your bomb. I did not. Did not steal your bomb, that's wrong. And I gotta be careful because you can get hurt by your own bombs. But now, here we are at the coal mine. What I like to consider the first major dungeon of Alundra. And we're greeted with an earthquake and um, the, the coal mine caving in. And now our path is blocked, but yeah, we obviously know what to do. Now, we are going to want to activate the engine as happened in our dream. Or not our dream, but Olin's dream. And to do that, we need um, we need to to get through that gate. And these turtles need to get out of my way, like that. Sometimes it, it can be a bit of a waste of time to kill enemies in a room, seeing as they tend to just respawn. Oh no! Hey, Merg. They're attacking that man! They're also like dancing around him and, and hitting him and he doesn't really seem to be too affected by it. Oh no, he is, he is. He's just not showing it through body language. 
And only after they stop attacking him does he fall down and die. I, I don't really understand that either. Oh, uh, Lyman is dead. But hey, he gave us a key. That's good. As you might have noticed, there are a shitload of treasure chests here. And we are going to open them because it's uh, it's nice to have the things that they contain. I want to add herbs. This one has 30 gilder. And um, the other two chests have the same thing. Herbs and 30 gilder. Herbs are a nice thing to have though. In times of trouble, you you definitely need a lot of herbs. As of right now, we have six herbs. We can only contain nine of any objects. Actually, I think we can only have nine herbs. Everything else we can only have one of, such as strength tonics. But now we have the key to the engine room. So that is our next look destination. Here we go. Now, what did Zane tell us? Left, left, right. Uh, it, it's too complicated for my stupid elven brain. Ugh. Left. There we go. Fuck you, Zane. I say that as you might be getting murdered by the Merg right now, but still, whatever. Wait, that's not the right way. Now that we've activated the engine, we can use these. These are controlled automatically, so it's it's out of my hand when it, once he jumps in the minecart. And also, mysteriously, that opened the gate. I don't know why driving past it opened it. We couldn't normally open it because it's rusted shut, but... Oh well, I'm not going to question that logic. Heading through here and avoiding the turtles because they're horrible. And of course, our path just happens to be perfectly blocked off, but you can see a, a passage seems to have opened to the right there. So as you might expect, that is where we want to go. This room can be pretty dangerous. This room we're heading up on, not, not this room. This room has purple blobs. I have already explained how not threatening the purple blobs are. I'm going to throw around these crates now and hope that they're going to drop health. Eh, it dropped a little. Good enough. This room has a lot of block, or a lot of rocks falling down. The safest way through is through the right. Otherwise it's this big maze where you're just going to get hit a whole bunch. And obviously that's not a not a good plan. Once in this room, we've activated another switch and another engine. Now we want to head back through the room of falling rocks. Luckily the rocks only do one bit of damage, but uh but still, yeah, I'm already now beginning to die. That's not good. Once your health gets low, an annoying little sound starts happening, telling you, Hey, you're about to die. Luckily, that dropped health. So now that we've activated the second engine, it has opened up this area that was previously barred. We'll activate that switch, and that changed the, uh, the tracks here. So now when we jump in the minecart... We will be headed in a different direction. And we destroy the rock. And also the minecart instantly kills those purple blobs, which is nice. Not as if they posed any threat to us whatsoever, but hey. Oh, I missed. Hoping to abuse that projectiles kill instant kill enemies instantly but that didn't work out let's head through here oh man someone doesn't appear to be in very good shape 
And if I could actually hit monkeys, I could perhaps check on them. There we go. You okay? No, you're not. He's dead! But we got a key, and that's the important thing. Next time on Let's Play Alundra, we continue through the coal mine in search of uh, any survivors. And perhaps what is causing the Merg to be so violent and aggressive. I'm Lord Vega, this is Alundra, I will see you next time.